Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportbikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Scorpion ST1400 helmet. The all-new Scorpion ST1400. This helmet retails from $399 to $429. It's going to depend if you want a solid or a graphic. Right now, we're showing you the solid matte carbon finish. And go ahead, get nice and close on that, dude. This thing looks really, really good. Honestly, I wish they would have done the same thing here in their R2000 or redone the R2000. This is a great looking carbon weave here from Scorpion. Who is this helmet right for? The ST1400 features a drop-down inner screen, retractable, okay? So this is going to be a street helmet, sport bike, touring bike, Harley. If you're looking at this, you're like, man, I want a full-face helmet with a drop-down inner screen, and I dig the way this looks, you're going to love it. Pull the trigger. It is a great helmet. Let's jump, jump into some of the particulars now about this lid. Certification. This is both DOT and ECE certified, so you've got two good safety standards that you can count on there. Weight. The listing from Scorpion, the note I saw was 3.05 pounds in a size medium. I had Caleb throw this on our shipping scale today. We came up with 3.2 pounds. It's not impossible. Our scale could be a little bit off, but 3.2 is still super, super light for a medium-sized full-face helmet. Fit and shape. I measure 58 centimeters on the money intermediate oval head shape, which means just a little bit longer front to back than side to side. The medium in the ST1400 gave me a really good fit, no pressure points. It felt comfortable enough that I feel I could ride in long hours, no problem at all. Let's talk about on-off effort with this helmet. I would say this is kind of middle of the road. It wasn't tremendously hard to get on or pull off, right? But it's still, once I got it over, I got a nice, comfortable fit. One of the things that this also offers that is really cool is the air fit cheek pads. There's a little bladder up here in the chin bar. You push that, it inflates the cheek pads. You can really kind of dial in the fit and customize it in that area. It's super simple to do. They've used that throughout their line in different helmets over the years. I've had some like that. It's a nice feature for sure. Let's talk about a couple other things in regards to fit, and one of them is going to be the dis distance between your nose and the chin bar of the helmet. With this helmet, I find I've got just about a full finger between my nose and the chin bar, so there's no interaction for me. And that's an important for some riders that know you're a little longer in the face and you really don't want your helmet riding up on your nose. Scorpion builds this as a helmet that works well with glasses. We got a set here, and we're going to test that out and see how that works. Getting them in there, definitely a little snug, but once I have them in, the arms of the glasses are sitting on my ear where they should be, and the glasses are resting on my nose. I don't wear glasses personally, even though I think I have hit the point where I need to. Caleb and Jimmy both do. And they said that for a lot of riders out there, what they're really looking for is the fact that glasses will sit on your nose. For me, with this style of glass and this helmet, they land right where they should be. Okay, the ST1400 ships with pin lock insert. It ships with a spare shield bag that comes with a spare clear shield. No need to include a tinted shield with this. Realistically, you've got the tinted drop-down inner, so this would be a replacement. If you've ridden in it long enough, maybe you get some stone chips in it, you've got a free replacement already ready to go. Premium helmet bag. Features benefits. Ventilation. We've got a large vent here at the top of the helmet. It is multi-position. Multi-position vent here. In the chin bar, the action on all the vents feels really, really nice. Exhaust vents, back here. Emergency release cheek pads. It ships with a chin curtain already installed. Double D-ring retention system. Center locking 
outer shield, there are detents all the way up. The lock is nice, the center locks do seem to work really well. Everclear treated, fog-free shield. It is possible, depending on the riding conditions you're in, you may not even need the pin lock shield. Okay, reinstalling the shield. This is relatively simple. You've got your tabs here. You wanna kind of mimic an upward most position. Get the tabs to drop in and put a little pressure like so. The thing is spring-loaded, so it needs to move around a little bit. We'll do the same thing over here on the other side. All the way up, locate it, put a little pressure, and then you want to make sure you operate it a couple of times before you take it out and ride, just to make sure you've got everything right where it needs to be. Scorpion has prepped this helmet to accept communicator devices. It's not directly prepped like, say, the GT Air 2 helmet from Shoei, but it does have integrated pockets. We're going to show you as we remove the liner inside the helmet. This liner is removable washable and or replaceable. Chin curtain, kind of pushing up here at the front, my thumb is under it, and then pull back. That is held in there pretty tightly. I think it's gonna stay in place when riding. I also like the flexibility of the material they've used here. When you have it in place and you're putting the helmet on and taking the helmet off, it's comfortable, it's, it's really not rubbing too hard, so they chose good fabric there. The emergency release cheek pads can also be removed by inserting your fingers in between the backing on the cheek pad and the EPS of the helmet shell to release the three snaps. Pretty simple to get out, just make sure you've got these disengaged here. Top pad, we have two snaps here at the back. Come around to the front, just gotta get your thumb underneath it, dislodge it from the channel here. Nice quality with your top liner as well. Let's have a look at the inside of the helmet. You can see the channeling in the EPS. That is to help enhance the ventilation system. I even like the way they finish this down here. I mean, that's just a small detail, but it looks really cool. Integrated speaker pockets. They're built right into the helmet. You just remove these little tabs. There's a little plastic backing in there between the foam just snaps in place. You've got some pockets that are intended to work with most any Bluetooth device that is on the market. See right there. You'll tuck all the wires in behind the foam padding in the helmet. Up front here, there's a little cutout for a microphone, right? Here's your inflatable cheek pad. There's your release right there. You can see the bladders on either side. Kind of like the fabric they used here to Trim that off, just looks really, really nice. This is a quality offering from Scorpion. Okay, now, more service. That inner drop-down shield. In order to remove it, you need to get behind the shield and grab it and then lightly pull out like so. You have to release these two tabs here. You definitely do put a little pressure on it, okay? It's not super hard, but you are putting some pressure on it. And it can be a little bit unnerving when it's your brand new $400 helmet or your helmet you've had for a while. But if you take a look at the clips here, you'll see that what they do is they spread out over a post and then clamp back over it once you have it seated. To reinstall, simply push it in. You can really see where it needs to go. Support the helmet, push back gently. Repeat the process on the other side. And then double check. Okay, let's bring this whole thing home. The all new 1400, what do I think? And please understand, I have not yet ridden it. I do intend to do that once it warms up a little bit here in Michigan. I know, I know, it's kind of warm today, but you know what? I'm a very, very fair weather rider. My expectations are that part will be good. Scorpion has a reputation for doing a good job there. What do I think of it? I like it. I love the quality. I love the look. I love the way it felt when I had it on 
The free clear shield's not going to hurt anybody's feeling. I think this is a solid option. If there's anything that I missed within this video and it's a question that you have, just please leave it in the comments. I answer all those myself. I'll happily research and get back to you. One thing I know that I forgot is this helmet is available. It offers three shell sizes that it breaks out through all the size range to help keep the external size and shape of the helmet as small as humanly possible. The all new 1400 from Scorpion.